The last manager to get Newcastle in the Champions League was Sir Bobby Robson. Isn't it ironic that his quote goes as, What is a club in any case? Not the buildings or the directors or the people who are paid to represent it. It's not the television contracts, the get-out clauses, marketing departments or executive boxes. It's the noise, the passion, the feeling of belonging, the pride in your city. It's a small boy clambering up stadium steps for the very first time, gripping his father's hand, gawping at a hallowed stretch of turf beneath him and without being able to do anything about it, falling in love. It's not just children who fell in love with Newcastle. It's adults as well. The ownership of Amanda Stavely, a partner of Mia Dad Gudusi, Jamie Rubin and their pair Yef. Newcastle United fans have fell in love once again with their club. They have their club back. At the start of the night, war flags, what an incredible display. The amount of times and the effort that these people volunteer to get the atmosphere going and have St James's Park looking absolutely jaw-dropping with those displays. They play a massive part in the atmosphere at Newcastle United. They are a huge credit to our club and we're lucky to have them. Yes, it was a boring nil-nil draw with Leicester City, but it wasn't about the game. It was about the occasion. All Newcastle needed to do was get a point. They did that. It was an awful game of football to watch, let's not lie. But the occasion is what it all meant. We've seen it at half-time, Jamie Rubin, Mia Dad, and even Yasser got involved in a funny aid challenge. Which other club do you know owners would have a go in a challenge in a competition at half-time? There's none. There's none in the Premier League. They can relate to Newcastle people. You know they're not from the area. And Geordies absolutely adore them. And it's also unfair for fans and the media to put it on Newcastle fans who the ownership is because of the human rights issues in Saudi Arabia. This channel, this very channel, spent a full week in Saudi Arabia exploring the religious culture of Saudi Arabia in the capital Riyadh. The Saudi people were absolutely exceptional to this channel, to this brand and to fellow Newcastle supporters who were out there. There is nothing wrong with the Saudi people. Whilst the media have their own agenda against the politics and the leadership of the kingdom, the normal citizens of Saudi Arabia are absolutely wonderful people. Back to the football, the celebrations began. Little Newcastle United have outdone Chelsea, Liverpool and even Spurs this season. Who would have thought Eddie Howe, 18 months ago, had Newcastle United coming in, sitting in 19th place when he took the job? Fast forward, who would have thought Newcastle United would qualify for Champions League and on the verge of finishing third in the Premier League. This isn't just an ordinary manager. This is an exceptional young manager that the Magpies have on their hands. As Bobby Robson would look down from the heavens above, he'll say to Eddie Howe, you'll do for me, son. You'll do for me. Be proud of the badge. Be proud of those players. Be proud of the manager. And be proud of Newcastle United. We've got Champions League football. We have hope. We have dreams. We have our club back.